Hey everybody, Kick Tom here. Welcome back to the gardening series. As you can see, right in front of me, my plants have grown from seedling to young to mature. Now, you may have noticed something. This plant, these plants have needs and pests. So I'm going to show you how you can take care of them. First off, you may notice that this honeysickle has sun and pollination needs. This is why you need the, every single one of those growing spells. So, as you see, this needs sun, so I'm gonna give it warming rays. Then, it requires pollination. So, I'm gonna give it worker bee. There we go. Now, as you can see, every plant is going to have needs. In case for the honeysuckle, it's going to need pollination and sun. You want to make sure you take care of your plants every single day, at least once per day. Or else it'll start to wither and it'll become a dead plant. You do not want your plants to die. In this case, you don't want to have your plants die. Because in this stage, when you're rank 1, you need every single XP you can get. Especially if you're starting out. Okay, now we're moving on to pests. As you can see, the key lime has fly swarm, rank 1. Now, it's very important that you picked up bug bolt because you need to take care of the plants that have pests. Like this. There we go. Now, plants are going to have pests like all the time. So you want to make sure you get pest spells to take care of the pests. In this case, the key lime had a rank 1. So I used Bug Bull to kill rank 1 pests. There will be pests up to rank 7. In that case, you are going to get the need to get Ant Lion. But this is the treasure card. You can get this spell in Chrysalis when you're rank 15, but that's going to be another day. Now we're going to move on to Summon Pixie. Summon Pixie is a really good spell to have. It just costs a lot and you need to be rank 10 to get the spell in Crocotopia. Every single plant likes this spell. So I'm going to demonstrate what this does. So I'm going to use it on my key lime. This costs 25 energy so make sure you have energy. And now it has a like. It has Pixie. This will make the plant growth of this key lime way faster. Also the honeysuckle too. I should mention with the summon pixie, if you summon a pixie on a plant, that plant will not have pests at all for 48 hours, so that's kind of cool. Now as you can see, there's a timer right here that I can, I can harvest this plant in 7 hours and 45 minutes. And for the honeysuckle, it's going to take me a whole day because I don't have all the likes for this. The more likes that a plant has, the faster you can harvest it. So. I'm going to be right back, and I'll come back to you guys when this is done. So I'll see you in about, like, I don't know, the end of the day. Eight hours later. Okay, we are back. That took way too long. As you can see, this key lime is, has this green glow around it. That means it's ready for harvest, so you can go up to it or click it, and this is why I prefer key limes over the other plants when you're starting out, because 300 XP. You're already rank 3, so right now you get a little reward. I got fries, which is, you know, not that good, but every plant is different. I'm going to do a gardening series on plants, so make sure you look out for that when that happens. Okay, now that you're rank 3, this is what you want to do. I'm going to go back to Golem Court, and I'm going to get that spell from Farley. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, we are back, and right now I'm with Farley. I'm going to get that next spell that I'm going to train for. It is called Gusty Winds. It costs 1,000 gold, and you need to be ranked 2 to at least train for it. So, I want to add it to my spell book? Yes, I do. Now that you've got Gusty Winds, you can use it to kill rank 1 and rank 2 pests. But now, since I'm rank 3, I could go to Krakatopia and talk to the next Gardener Mole. So I will see you guys when I get there. Okay, here we are. I am next to Charlie in the Oasis in Krakatopia. What he sells is these spells. He sells these uh, these uh, medium-sized areas 
that you need to be at least rank 3 to get. So we're going to get this one. We're going to get this one. That one. That one. That one. We're going to get the large pot because you need this for couch potatoes. And we're going to get this too. Deep freeze. This will kill rank 1, 2, and 3 pests. He sells this too, but he also sells the enchanted small soil, but we'll get to that another day. And here, he has the summon pixie spell, but you have to be rank 10, and it costs all this gold. Look how much gold that costs. That's gonna be a lot. Now, since I'm rank 3, I can actually start doing other plants, so I'm gonna go to the crown shop. We're gonna go to seeds, gardening, and we're gonna go to usable. So let's see these plants that I could use. Now here we have the Sword Fern. This is a rank 3 plant that requires a medium plot, and you can see it likes Honeysickle and Grapes of Wrath and does not like Stingweed, Mistletoe, Boom Shrooms, or Boom Shrooms. I don't usually use this plant, but mostly, mostly because I don't know where to get it. So yeah. Next we have the Couch Potatoes. These Couch Potatoes are a must-have. They are really good for getting gold, and they're really good for getting snacks at Elder. These are actually pretty droppable, in the early stages of Grizzleheim, which got to be rate level 20 to get to. So, every single mob in Grizzleheim drops couch potatoes. Next up, we have the Deadly Elephant Ears. These are actually pretty decent, and you can, I think you could get these drops in Avalon. So yeah, if, these are actually pretty these are actually pretty decent plants. So I would actually recommend getting them if you have no other option. Another plant we have is called the King Parsley. This has a chance to drop amber, but I don't usually get lucky with this, but. I would recommend getting at least one of these because couch potatoes actually like King Parsley, so yeah, there's that. And last, we have the Ninja Fig. I really don't use this, but it's uh, it's rank 2, requires a large plot, but the thing is, you don't get a large soil yet until you're rank 3, and this requires rank 2, and there's no large pot in this game. So yeah, that's uh, that's a bummer. Okay, here we are in my red barn farm to go over one more thing before we wrap things up for the day. This right here is called a progress bar. Once it's full, you get to do an elder harvest. The elder harvest gives you much more experience and much more greater rewards, so that's a good thing. So this concludes the second episode of the gardening series on how to garden like a pro. I will see you guys in the next gardening video. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment, hit the bell icon, it's always appreciated. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!